Welcome to our channel, the channel for the most remarkable news about Catherine, the Princess of Wales. Today, we have interesting news for you. Angel Catherine dazzles in a glamorous crimson dress as her touching moment melted the hearts at a charity event. Princess Catherine participated in Sheena Easton's highly awaited West End launch as a royal patron of the East Anglia Kids Hospice facilities at the Palace Theatre Royal Drury Lane. The princess, who dressed gorgeously, wearing a crimson Marchester not tulle outfit that included a jeweled belt comprising of burgundy high heels, as well as an embellished purse, got summoned onto the stage after the show had ended and given the power source sparkling footwear by the production's co-pro Lord Michael Grade. The princess, who dressed her locks loose as well as accessorized alongside Kate Spade studs, has recently been venturing out of the succession of conservative outfits in recent weeks, and the evening of Friday seemed no different, resulting in the royal showing only a small portion of ankle as a transparent overlay concealed off her décolletage. Catherine maintained her makeup looking minimal to attend the fundraiser meeting, featuring a neutral lip as well as the right amount of smoky eye. In accordance to the charity site, one wonderful contributor had already made a donation to the amount of £250,000 to the organization's efforts. Right now, let's take a closer look at what Catherine donned for her royal event. Her ensemble is embroidered tulle midi gown outfit in claret. The dress is from Marchesa's Knot Resort 2017 line. The nipped-in waistline, the voluminous skirt were reminiscent of Dior's new style patterns from the mid-1940s. A portion of the bulkin skirt may be seen in the photograph above. Capped sleeves as well as a deceitful neckline, a concealed back zipper plus elastic shaping complete the look. The edge of the hem is said to have been reinforced to maintain its expansive appearance. In Edward Barrasamayan's fashion article, here are some comments on the evening's ensemble. A vibrant, striking hue that appeared on numerous fall 2017 fashions and appears to have finally become one of her particular go-tos. By stretching the hue from top to bottom, this evening's ensemble established an entirely novel equilibrium among imagination and pragmatism. Catherine's clothing was altered to fit her perfectly. Continue to examine attentively at her bust and upper arm. You'll notice the fact that her garment has cuffs that are a bit longer than those with cap sleeves. Due to the texture of her locks, the line where the buttons connect to the corset makes it hard to identify, but it's actually there as well. Thank you for mentioning the Bert Wu on the social media site and Camille for bringing this out to us. The garment is designed and characterized as lattice and rosette, which is more visible than being viewed in close-ups. The intricate lattice arrangement of Catherine's ankles was generated by the performance spotlights reflecting underneath the skirt she was wearing in the image above. The completed hemline of the gown is pictured underneath. This is exactly the garment which appears on the Marchesa website and Farfetch, which the edge of the hem is done in almost every one of the additional photographs. The accessory is beaded and crystal encrusted. Several individuals were thrilled to witness Catherine in the gown that represented an abrupt departure from her lacy sheaths. Jessica from the Food Girls offers an opinion on the looks as follows. Well, my goodness, it seems I could enjoy this. Is this how pleasure feels? I've missed it. Also, in surprising information, it's Marchessa. The Marchesa not in particular, it's more reasonably priced but still very pricey branch. Should I have dressed it differently? Absolutely. Share your passion wherever you get it. Marchesa's founding partners expressed their eagerness to observe the Princess of Wales in a couple of their creations in a conversation in an interview throughout London Fashion Week. The luxurious item labeled creators Georgia Chapman and Karen Craig desire their customers to experience a feeling like the Princess of Wales each time they don the single item of the label's dazzling outfits. We admire Catherine's style, Georgina told us in a report. I conceive certainly feel that the thought of every dress as a way for somebody to truly feel like something special. Karen acknowledged. Karen, her co-founder, agreed, stating, you need to sense the regal every time you donned an exquisite outfit. 
Marchesa, refers to the Knot collection, using the Little Sister brand. It has intricately detailed costumes and dresses, along with cheaper pricing options. Catherine donned Kate Spade's preppy Poms tassel spectacular earrings, as they were definitely somewhat out of the norm for her. Silk, also known as thread and glass fragments, have been employed to make the studs, according to the information I've seen on the Princess's Facebook and Twitter pages. These are going to be joined by the existing pantheon of divisive items she's donned, although numerous individuals adored them, as well as it felt that it was a fantastic to witness the Queen in her statement studs. Interesting to note that they're actually truly called statement studs. Some believed they resembled like curtain pulls or other interior design accessories. Thank you to Miki on social networking for identifying who the studs were. The Jean Vito Rossi iconic pumps made a comeback in Bordeaux, as originally noticed at the China presidential tour. Catherine also wore her Mulberry Bayswater pocket handbag. The Princess of Wales is well known for her endorsement of young people's hospice services, and she nominated each of the fourth of her individual four royal patronages following attaining the HRH. Nurse treatment, management of symptoms assistance, wellness operations, and counselling and therapy are among the specialised offerings, every single one of which catered towards the particular requirements of the kid or teenager as well as the rest of the family. Each has outlasted its Quiddenham Hospital in Norfolk, as well as presently soliciting funds for its upcoming specifically designed hospice services, the Nook. The newly constructed building is intended at providing a greater number of families with the exact same services that are provided by each hospice service in Cambridgeshire and in Essex and Suffolk. Catherine assisted in the beginning stages of the fundraising effort in 2014, as well as in January she revisited Quiddenham to brief workers and their families on the campaign and the development of the establishment of the new hospice. Spending time with another altogether is such an essential aspect of the family's existence. Although for families presenting for youngsters with existence-limiting circumstances, even the most basic gesture may turn out to be immensely tough. Princess Catherine said throughout the occasion. Because of the everyday challenges associated with offering 24-hour care, even duties which numerous of us consider to be given come far too complicated. The remarkable and life-altering assistance that's provided by young people's hospice services and supportive care charities throughout the UK provides an important support to individuals under tremendous stress. This assistance provides these households with the opportunity they require to simply enjoy their life in tandem, something that's critical and especially trying out of the circumstances. Thank you for watching today's video. What are your thoughts on the clothing and her relevant work? Please let us know what you think and we'll say goodbye for the time being.